Hello my dear visitors and subscribers, nice to meet you here again at Crazy Engines channel. Today we continue our story about the famous legendary product line of the flat twin engines produced by uh, OS uh, engines. Uh, we will continue to talk and to test famous Gemini, but right now it's the Gemini 2, second generation installed on the bench. Uh, the engine is practically uh, new from the box and so I would like to make a very brief comparison uh, from the point of the external what is the differences in between two engines. Thank you! Here are two FT120 engines one is early Gemini edition and this one is Gemini 2. Here are some interesting facts from the history of this engine. Development of uh, the engine was started in 1976 and in the uh, 78th some engine prototypes were manufactured. Mass production was started in 1979, but anyhow, due to the high quality and production standards of the OS manufacturing, production rate was very slow. And according to my understanding, engine was firstly targeted to the serious modelers, especially for scale-like models. Newer generation Gemini 2 was introduced in 1985, six years after the first early Gemini. Let's briefly compare these two versions of the basically the same engine, just visually, not to dive deeper in the, into engine internals. There's clearly noticeable visual difference, first of all due to the fact that the new pushrods in Gemini 2 were shortened and make thicker. The dimensions of the pushrods cases have also changed accordingly. One of the reasons for changing pushrod design was the fact that in some heavily loaded engine pushrods were tentative to be curved, it becomes uh, shorter and change significantly intake exhaust phases of the engine. New pushrod design is requested to eliminate, eliminate such cases. New different comp model is installed on Gemini 2. It's simple one needle air bleed type. Later on the bench we will check how it will perform with the engine. As well, the inlet tubes are different because the carp are different. The design of the uh, fuel mix uh, manifold is absolutely different. Also, interesting to know that that the exhaust tubes have a, a bigger uh, dimensions, so to establish a bigger throughput of the exhaust cases, so the 8 mm in diameter in the Gemini 2 and uh, 7 mm just in the uh, Gemini early version. Engine heads are also looks different. Looks different probably due to the changes on the valve mechanics. So on the Gemini 2 the valve head looks and the cover, uh, the valve cover looks bigger. Uh, as far as I know both engines using the same cylinder piston assemblies from the well-known OS FS60-61 engines. So there is a time to mount the engine on the bench and to start it. Thank you. So. I hope it was not too long and very interesting regarding the differences. And right now we are ready to start. Thank you for watching.
So, my dear viewers and subscribers, my first impression, this is very powerful engine. OS FT Geminate, second generation, is very powerful engine, really. In comparison with its previous uh, simple Gemini, uh, early Gemini version, it outperforms it on a thousand five hundred uh, RPM. It's amazing! It's amazing! And the displacement are still the same, the fuel is still the same, and the probe is still the same. Nothing was changed, really. This is my first, uh, uh, how to say, I'm very excited of this run also. Regarding the tunings, interesting, but it tunes much more easily than previous version, because I was obliged to play with the two needles on the first Gemini, but here with a simple air bleed carb, it tunes much more easily. And engine runs with an equal temp of the both cylinders. What <laughs> I also would like to note you about this fantastic low idle sound, low idle tone of the idling engine. At the lowest possible stable idle, at 1500 RPM, engine could idle indefinitely. So with no any glow plug support needed. If you will establish the glow plug support, it could easily ticking on the 1100, 1200 RPM with the absolutely amazing fast uh, uh, start to the to the top. So I'm very excited. Thank you again for watching. See you very very soon at Crazy Engines. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.